Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Veronica Giuliani, born as Ursula Giuliani into the wealthy family as the daughter of Francesco Giuliana and Benedetta Mancini, she developed a deep spirituality and desired nothing more than to dedicate her life to God. She received visions as a child and her first words were reported to be, To justice, God sees you. Ursula's father presented suitors in hopes that she would marry, but the girl became ill at the idea of not devoting her life to God and finally she received her father's blessing and was allowed to join the religious life. She joined the poor class in Città di Castello in Umbria, Italy on the 17th of July 1677 at the age of 17. She received the veil on the 20th of October and then she took the name Veronica. In the year 1693, she received visions that indicated the passion would be reenacted in her own soul. In 1694, she received the first sign of the stigmata, in her case, the visible wounds of the crown of thorns. On Good Friday, in the year 1697, she received the wounds on her hands, feet and side. She submitted to medical treatment and many examinations, never trying to prove the stigmata was real, just suffering through the wounds, the exams and the scorn of her peers. Veronica served as novice mistress for over 30 years. She refused to let them read anything that was related to visions or mysticism, insisting that they become practical brides of Christ. Chosen abbess of her house in the year 1716, she served there for more than a decade. Her 10-volume diary of the Passion catalogues her religious experiences. She died on the 9th of July 1727 at Città di Castello out of natural causes. She was beatified on the 17th of June 1804 by Pope Pius VII and was canonized by Pope Gregory XVI on the 26th of May 1839.